Hi everyone, I'm Neil Craftani. Welcome to my floss tube extra. This is floss lesson day one. So going forward until the 24th of December, I'm trying to do daily videos um, to show you what I stitched the day before and to open my advent calendar together with you. So those videos are probably going to be super short. Today is going to be a little bit longer because of explanations and stuff. But otherwise, I think those videos are going to be super short. But well, um, yeah, I think that's it. My last video was on Monday, so since I saw you last, I had three stitching days. So let me show you what I got done. First, I did stitch on Norwegian Ship Under Sail by Golden Kite. This is the small edition. There is a bigger version um, on the Golden Kite website. But for me, the small one had, sorry about that, the small one had enough uh, details and therefore I decided to just go with the small. So let me show a picture of what it looked like last time here. And this is where I got to. So very happy about that. Um, presently, I'm stitching in page number four. So since you saw it last, I finished that column, started the next one. I have reached my 10,000 stitches for the year and therefore I'm done with my year end goal and this is going to be put away until either all of my goals for this year are done or until next year. I think um, I should get all of my goals done this year so hopefully this will come out at the end of the year or later in the month. Um, yeah, so that's what I stitched. Basically I did all of that. There was quite a bit of confetti down here um, and then I only needed about 200 stitches, 150, something like that and I really wanted to get done with this project so I decided to stitch up here in those part threads in the sky because I knew there were a lot of um, stitches with each color and therefore I would get it done quite fast and that was, was my goal. There are a few stitches down here already um, just because those those colors were down here as well or my threads were super short and I just ended the thread so that's why there are some stitches over here as well they are a little bit hidden with the part threads <laughs> but um, yeah that's no reaching ship on the sale it is stitched on an 18 count antique white ada I'm stitching two over one full crosses needle minded from Denka designs and I have to finish this column and one more, and then I will have reached a page finish. Going forward, I'm going to write uh, things like that down on a list for next year, because um, as I said in a previous video, I'm going to do focus on a finish Sundays. And that does not mean complete finishes, although my first project probably is going to be that. But... Um, it also means stuff like page finishes, partial finishes, you know, all those things. Um, and therefore, getting closer to page finish, especially with a project like this, where I'm really looking forward to more progress, I'm going to write that down. And if the Sunday comes around and I don't have another project planned, I can look on that list and decide which project I'm going next to finish such goals. So, yeah, that is my Norwegian ship under sale. I'm very happy with what I did this year. And yeah, now it's going to be put away for a while. A lot of part threads, so it's not the easiest to put away again, but I think I'm going to manage. And then we talk about the next project I stitched on, because I actually got to stitch on two projects in those three days, and I'm very happy about that. Um, I did not get as far as I wanted to with that other project, but at least I made progress. <clears throat> So, that other project is the last project I have not yet finished my year and go on. Um, so, it is now going to be the only project I stitch on every day until it is done. Um, which also means, going forward, I probably won't put pictures of what it looked like last time in my video. So, for those Flossmas videos. And I'm just going to show you a picture um, I'm just going to show you where I got to. 
without any starting point things because I'm going to have probably quite short videos every day and therefore if you really want to know you can just quickly cook, look into that other uh, video. I'm going to start with the stitching every day so if you're just inter interested in the stitching or you just don't have the time to watch a gazillion Flossmas videos because there are quite a few out there uh, or quite a few floss tubers are planning to do one um, then you can switch off right afterwards and don't have to wait for the other stuff. So the project I'm talking about is Cinderella Rags to Ridges. I'm stitching the combined version and I'm stitching on Cinderella in Ridges. Cinderella in Rags is already done. So here's a picture of what it looked like last time because it's been three days. And this is Vega 2. So I don't know how much of a difference you can see, but I'm going to talk about it. So let me fold this in half so I can bring it a little bit closer and hold it a little bit easier. Basically, I did one more length of the DMC cross stitching down here because there's a lot of back backstitching in that dress, as you can see up close. And I wanted to finish one of those worlds and therefore needed a few more of the stitches. So I did those. Yeah, you can't really see that great on camera, but there are Krennic swirlies in there. I also did all the back stitching on her arms and hands and on that part of the dress. Um, on that part of the dress as well. So in here is some back, um, DMC back stitching as well. And that arm and that side are already done as well. I had a little bit of backstitch thread left over, but there are a few stitches missing before I can do that. So next time I probably start out with that DMC, do the backstitching, and then I move in to do the beads because that's the part I did not get to. Um, I had six hours and I was sure I would get all of that done. Yeah, it took me six hours to do all the backstitching. That's a lot of chronic backstitching. <laughs> It looks amazing. Oh, and I also did that Krennic Swirly and finished that and stitched that one completely. So I did a little bit more than just Krennic backstitching, but um, yeah, I did not get around to do the beads. There will be a ton of beads, so that's going to be one of the next things too. I do hope today it's already 2 p.m. because um, yeah, I slept a little bit longer than I planned to, um, <laughs> but Basically, today the plan is to, the rest of the day, stitch on this project. I don't have anything else to do. So I do hope to finish that part over here, finish all the beading, especially in the top half. The top half of the design now only misses beads. So I hope to do that, to just have one page left, and then concentrate more on the stitching. And if I do have some places where I feel like they, they need more beads or stuff like that, I can do that. I now have two boxes for this project. Um, I know I said it's going to be not that long of a video and it's already quite long, but I'm going to show you anyways. I'm going to show you tomorrow. I'm just going to show you tomorrow. Um, then that one's not as short either, but well. Okay, so that's my stitching. Um, and now let's move to the advent calendar. Short explanation, basically we were 25 women, uh, a colleague of mine organized it and basically she's asked everyone she knew. <laughs> um, I think it was a coincidence we were, we were all women, I think she asked some guys as well but they weren't interested and therefore we are 25 women. Everyone prepared 24 identical presents and everyone got assigned one day. So for me I have... Um, the 16th of December. So on the 16th of December, all of those other 24 women get my present. And because I'm not supposed to get my own present, we were 25 women, so that 25th woman just gives every one of us our present on our day. So yeah, that's basically the advent calendar and today is day one and I can finally open it. It's um, upstairs in my attic. Um, I have a few bookshelves and um, they're not super high because the roof starts and therefore I have decorated the advent calendar on there 
And every day I walk there and I look at it and I'm happy about it. But finally I can open it. So this is number one. And I'm going to open this. Hopefully without completely destroying the packet and hopefully without being too loud. Let's see what's in there. Some pralines. Oh, she made them herself. Oh, that's cool. Self-made pralines. Mmm, oh. Um, one is... Oh, I have probably have to, to look those words up. I'm going to do that. So, three uh, chocolates. Um, one is champagne. I think that one probably. One is cassis, that's probably the purple one. And one is salted caramel. So I'm really looking forward to those. Yeah, can't wait for those. I'm very happy with my first present. <laughs> Tomorrow I will be back with my stitching from today and my next present. So um, until then, I hope you have a great day and I will see you tomorrow.